guys, it's Liv. What's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. So today I'm going to be doing some tips for online school and online classes. I know the school year is going to look a lot different for a lot of us. It's kind of a weird, unsettling, uncertain time, but hopefully these tips will make the transition to online learning or remote learning a little bit smoother. And I know you guys liked my online schools video that I did before. So if you haven't seen the first one, I'll link that down below in the cards but let's just get into it so my first tip for online classes and online school is to hold yourself accountable and I know this sounds really big and scary and weird but at the end of the day you're really not gonna have you know your teachers your professors all on your shoulder telling you what to do you're really gonna have to hold yourself accountable I like to tell myself like I am responsible for my life I'm responsible for you know how I respond to things I'm responsible for me and I know this isn't the ideal situation that we all want like obviously I'd much rather go to school in a normal world where this isn't going on but at the end of the day you have to take responsibility for you and making the most of every situation. Um, hold yourself accountable so maybe you will do that in a different way by you know making a schedule for yourself saying that you're gonna do your classes Monday Wednesday Friday and like making a schedule and sticking to it. Just try to hold yourself accountable I know that kind of sounds a little bit scary and like aggressive but it will help you and it'll help you avoid procrastination and just leaving things to last minute. My next tip for online school is to work on your time management skills. Being online, everything that you do is really gonna be up to you. I know I sometimes have a tendency of procrastinating, leaving things towards last minute, feeling like you need to have a sense of urgency to get something done, but when you work on your time management skills, it'll help you feel like calmer. I know the state of the world right now can leave a lot of us feeling anxious and kind of unsettled but when you do things on time and you work on your time management it'll give you a sense of peace and calmness and riddle some of your maybe school anxiety you can work on your time management by setting schedules planning out your day in the beginning of the morning setting aside time for your work for fun for school keeping a good eye and track of what you're doing the next step for online school is to participate and I know this may sound a little bit scary because it's kind of awkward when you're like talking on zoom and you're like, can anybody hear me? Hello, is anybody there? I know it's a little bit of a weird feeling talking on Zoom when there's like a hundred people listening to you and you can maybe get a little bit nervous. For me, I found that when I participate in my classes online, it makes it feel a lot more human and less robotic and just feels a little bit more normal. I feel like it's a good practice and it also helps you learn more because then you're actively listening to what's going on in your class instead of zoning out. I found in my classes that when I participated, it just felt a lot more normal and it kind of took away that like awkwardness of feeling like wow all my classes are online this is sad so just get involved talk um participate when your professors ask questions maybe you know if you know the answer or you don't even have to know the answer if you think you may know the answer just answer because it is so awkward and i feel so bad when professors are asking questions and it's just like dead silent for like five minutes and everyone's just like chilling out on zoom and then someone's like what's the question and you just know in your heart that literally nobody was paying attention so just like try to participate um, and it'll make the experience a little bit more enjoyable my next suggestion for online classes is to make a study plan this is something that I always do when it comes to midterms and finals, especially if it's a cumulative test. So it includes all the topics that you've learned of the whole school year. So you can make a plan that will outline what you need to study what day. And you can even do this throughout the school year. That way you're not really cramming for finals. So say I know that I have a final two weeks from now that covers 10 chapters. I'll make an effort and a point to study one chapter a day. So on Monday, Monday, I'll read chapter one, take notes. On Tuesday, I'll read chapter two. Take Sometimes I'll even like make a plan, a study plan, and I'll print it out. That way I have something physical and tangible that I can check off. I think there's something really rewarding of having a to-do list or having kind of a plan. That way you can feel like you're really working towards something. You can make a plan so that on Monday and Tuesdays you study statistics. 
and Wednesdays and Thursday, you work on your econ homework for half an hour. Something as simple as that, because you know online classes, they may be a little bit more difficult or you may need to put in a little bit extra effort to understand the material. So just work on finding a groove, a good plan that helps you really focus. My next suggestion for online classes and tips is to get ahead on deadlines, especially with everything being online. I don't know, I'm just, not to be pessimistic, but there might be some technical errors. I mean, if like the entire student body of all of the United States is doing their work online, you know, like Canvas might crash. If you do your things ahead of time, you don't have to worry about like you accidentally deleting your paper or Canvas not loading or any of things of that sort. And it also gives you a sense of accomplishment knowing that everything's done. I feel like for me right now, I have anxieties in my life about going back to school. I, to be honest with you, I'm a little nervous to go back to school. I'm nervous to be around that many people when I've been self-isolating and quarantining for so long. And I know a lot of my friends and a lot of the people that are going back to school are feeling that way too. So if you can do one thing by like getting your schoolwork done just to limit your anxiety, and just take your stress level down a little bit, it'll help. My next suggestion for online classes is to have a designated quiet space to learn. If you have the means to um, buy a desk, for the school year, I think it would be really good to have like a space where you can go, or you could even buy a table, or if you already have a table, that's great too. I think it's good just to have a designated space in your room to do your schoolwork. That way you're not doing your schoolwork and learning from your bed, because I, I know I personally don't really pay attention if I'm in class on my bed, I literally will just like fall asleep, especially if it's early in the morning. Or if it's at like two in the afternoon, prime nap time, I will fall asleep. But try to locate a space in your home that's more on the quiet side and relaxing and a place without a ton of distractions that way you can really focus. It's definitely hard on with online classes to focus because you don't have like the people around you um, that are also focusing because I think when you're in class when everyone else is paying attention it's kind of like a standard like you know you need to pay attention you know like it's the responsible thing to do to like and respectful thing to do to pay attention to your professors but when you're home alone it's like Who's watching you? Who's like holding you to that responsibility? No one except for yourself, especially if your professors can't even see you, like you could be on TikTok, no one would know. So just try to find like a space where you can focus, pay attention, and not have too many distractions. My next suggestion when it comes to online classes is to try to make it a little bit more enjoyable when it comes to studying with music. I personally love a good lo-fi playlist some jazzy, relaxing tunes in the background, or I can even listen to like acoustic, like relaxing music if I'm doing like math things. I don't really like to listen to music with words if I'm writing, but if I'm doing math, it doesn't bother me. But I personally like to listen to lo-fi. I will link my study lo-fi playlist down below if you're interested. And there are so many like really long streams on YouTube that are like constantly playing. So you can just look up on YouTube like lo-fi study music, lo-fi jazz music, all those types of things, and they'll come up. And I just think it's a good way to relax, get in the mood, and get in your like focus zone. Next suggestion when it comes to online classes is find an online study group. So I know this is a thing for certain majors or they have like different tutoring sessions, but if your class has like a group me where you all like try to learn together or if your school has a department tutoring center for your subject that you need help in, try to go to those things. So I know for one of my classes, they would have the Zoom sessions with the TA and they would basically just go over any questions that you would have so you could just go to this like open tutoring session go with any question they would rightfully answer it and it would really be super helpful so if you ever need you know a little bit more extra assistance when it comes to online classes do not be afraid to go and get help and then going along with that my next tip for online classes is to ask questions and don't be afraid to get help. I know it could be a little bit intimidating going on to online office hours via Zoom because it might be a little bit awkward because it's new for everybody. But if you need help in whatever subject, don't be afraid to go to office hours online and just go ask questions. Number 10, the next tip I have for you guys 
is to get familiar with the software that you are using. I know the other day I had a conference call on Zoom and I almost accidentally had a beach background as my background and if I didn't turn that off before the meeting started, I would have had a beach lovely background in my video which would have been like okay but also like not what I wanted. So just make sure you're familiar with the technology that you're using. I know I've seen many TikToks of people that think they're muted on their class and this actually happened in one of my classes like the person thought they were muted but then they were like talking crap on somebody and like the entire class heard it and we're like oh my god please turn off your mic and then they still didn't turn off their mic and it was so unbelievably awkward so just please just like get familiar with the software you're using because like nobody wants to see you if you're getting changed or hear your personal conversations. The next tip for online classes is to try to avoid multitasking. I know this is something that a lot of us do, myself included. You know, watch Netflix, write a paper, text a friend, try to just focus on one thing at once. It'll just help you have like more of that like laser zen focus mode and it'll be less distracting. My next tip for online classes is to try to stick to a schedule. So I know it can be super tempting. Oh, one week I'll do my class at 9 a.m. and the next week I'll do my class at 3 a.m. and then I'll do it at 4 p.m. and just changing your schedule all the time. But for me, I feel like it's really good to have a schedule and with the whole craziness of the world right now, it's good to feel like you have some sense of normalcy. Having a schedule will definitely help with that. So it'll also help with your learning if you're more like consistent with how long you're studying for and what days you're studying for. So even if your online classes aren't synchronous online meeting classes. You can always still try to do your classes at the same time every day. So I know last semester once we went online, some of my classes, they just put all the video lectures up there and they're like, okay, so uh, just do the classes when you want to. And I had a little bit of a hard time like delegating when to do those things. Going into this upcoming semester, I really wanna do a better job of taking the classes at like the same time every day and really getting into a good structured routine. And then my final tip for online classes is to ask questions during your class. So say you do have synchronous meeting times with your professor where you are online, and they are online at the same time. And if you're confused on something, don't be afraid to ask questions. I know it can feel a little bit weird, again, because we're all online and it's different. Anytime I'm nervous to ask a question because of social anxiety, I remind myself that if I have this question, odds are somebody else or a couple other people also have a question. So never feel stupid. There's never no such thing as a dumb question. So there you have it guys, those are all my tips for online school and online classes. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up down below and comment what's one tip that you think will help you coming into this new school year or what are you looking forward to in this new school year. And if you guys are new here, definitely make sure to subscribe down below. We're getting so close to 10,000 subscribers, which is so crazy and I'm seriously so thankful for every single one of you guys. So thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!